Hello music technology students. This tutorial will show you how to extract parts and a few tips to be aware of when you do this. Okay, so when you're working in an ensemble, large or small, you need to take the parts and extract them for the individual instruments from the score. Now, I didn't com finish completing the whole score, but this will run you through the process. To do that, we're going to click on File and then Extract Parts. The score is already here, so we don't need another part for the score. We just need the instrumental parts. Make sure those are selected, and then click on OK. You'll see Finale working, and then the parts will show up. So a few things to be aware of. If you've done this correctly, you should have already had your multi-measure rests set up. Um, and therefore, if you have instrumentalists who are resting for more than two measures, you'll see the large multi-measure rest. So we're seeing that in the cello part because I didn't put any notes in the cello part. Okay, so I'm going to come up here in the corner and minimize just this particular part. Uh, so here, this is a great example of things that can go wrong in extracting. Sometimes when you extract a part, for whatever reason, Finale will only extract one measure. This is what we see here. Don't panic. You can fix this by clicking on Document, Manage Parts, excuse me, not, um, yeah, Document Edit Part, Generate Parts. You see nothing happen. Go back and do it again document, edit part, and now we see the viola part. So we're going to click on that and here the rest of the part has appeared. So when you do this, Finale also sometimes will move your slurs and move your dynamics. This is when you need to re-edit your parts. Make sure that no markings are touching. Make sure that none of your slurs have suddenly ended up here. Okay, so you might have to move some things around. Make sure you don't have dynamics sitting on top of notes. Like if your dynamics are sitting up here, that's a no-no. Go ahead, just use that selection tool, move things around and edit them as needed. Once you've edited the part and you feel confident about it, this is when you're going to go in and PDF the part. Go to File, Export, PDF. And it will go ahead and auto name that part. So there's the name of the file, and then there's the individual part, the viola part, which is what you need. Make sure that you pay attention to where you save this. I'm going to go ahead and save this in documents, finale files, and you can even uh, create an additional um, file folder for just this project. Click save, and now it's a PDF. You need to do this for all of the parts and the score. So go ahead and minimize this one. There we see the violins. The second violin part, I can see obviously it's missing, so I need to regenerate these parts. So document, edit part, generate parts. We see nothing change. Edit part, violin, now there's the part. Um, again, check, make sure nothing's overlapping, make sure nothing's touching, make sure you see all of your markings, your slurs, dynamics, everything that's there that should be there. If it looks correct, and this one is not correct, by the way, it's missing a lot of information, um, then you can go in and export that part to a PDF. Here we see it pop up. It's where I want it to be. There's the auto um, title for the file. That's the violin two part. We're going to click and save that. Go ahead and minimize. Here we are again, the first violin part. Also a mess. Document, edit part, generate part. Do it again. There's the violin part. There's the rest of it. Great example right here. We see the slur is touching that note. That is unacceptable. So we're just going to lift that up a little bit. You could also double click and you um, get all the little editing boxes and so you could make little edits to just kind of change the shape or the slope of that too. There's a, just a, several different ways that you can approach this. Okay. Um, also watch out for oversized final measures. So I will show you what this looks like. Sometimes Finale, when it exports parts, just like these two measures, We'll do this. And you'll have one or two really large final measures. This is not acceptable. Go ahead and either move this measure up or move a few more of these measures down. Probably move a few measures down because then it's easier for the instrumentalist to, to read anyway. So go ahead and select those measures. Use your down arrow. 
and now it's nicely spaced. But don't allow one or two final measures to be really, really oversized. That's terrible for your musicians. Okay, this is fine. Now I'm going to export to PDF. There's the title of it. Save it. Minimize that. And then you still have to do this for the score as well. You still have to um, export this to PDF. And then you will upload to Canvas for your submission for full credit the four parts and the score. And this is true for all of the assignments that are with ensembles. You'll have the individual parts uploaded plus the score. All right. Best of luck. And let me know if there's anything I can do to help.